Boris Johnson has uh, penned an article in the Daily Mail. Of course he has. Um, he's got to do something. Anyway, he said that the Tucker Carlson uh, Putin interview was straight out of Hitler's playbook. Um, he says that Tucker Carlson uh, has been the stooge of the tyrant, the dictaphone to the dictator, and a traitor to journalism. Uh, he says that uh, Tucker Carlson has betrayed viewers and listeners around the world for not taking the Russian leader to task for the torture, the rapes, the blowing up of the kindergartens in Ukraine. Not once did he even try to damn the flow of lies. Well, He's right there. Uh, Tucker Carlson's questions were very guarded, and uh, he gave Mr. Putin, for the most part, a fairly easy ride. And Putin, uh, I, I don't know whether Putin, uh, or, or whether the person who was being interviewed, was genuinely loquacious and uh, brilliant in his... Um, presentation, or whether he just learnt an entire script. Um, but it was very impressive. It was very impressive. Uh, I, I think if you take a photograph of Putin um, in the past and you compare that with a photograph of Putin today, uh, either it's not the same man or he's had a lot of um, cosmetic surgery and Botox and... Um, uh, support, uh, but all all, the, all that aside, um, Putin's message to America, according to Boris, was stay out of this conflict, and soon we can all be at peace. As long as you don't help Mr. Zelensky, we can be at peace because we will have won. And this is the sort of message that Boris says Hitler delivered in June 1940. Uh, through the newspapers of W.R. Hearst and a German-American journalist called von Wiegand. I, I don't know of these, but uh, I, I think it's an interesting observation. Rishi Sunak had said that it was clearly ridiculous that the West and NATO are to blame for the war in Ukraine. And I would repeat that. There's a lot of people um, who are leaving comments on YouTube under my videos uh, trying to suggest that I'm mad not to accept Mr. Putin's version of events. I don't entirely accept that it's Mr. Putin, but I am prepared to concede uh, that the performance of the person who purports to be Putin um, was brilliant, was brilliant as, uh, as, um, <laughs> as demagogues and tyrants go, brilliant, but wrong deluded, wrong, and he's singing um, a propaganda list which has been prepared for him um, by people on local radio, by people on Russian uh, television, by people uh, in Russian media uh, manipulation. Um, and a lot of these arguments we didn't hear at the beginning Every time that Putin and his stooges get on the media, they pro they produce a different reason for invading Ukraine. Every time. At one point, it's about a, a, a crusade to rescue orthodoxy and decency from the LGBTQ plus community. At another point, it's about a Nazi crusade. We got a bit of that. Uh, but the justification for that was about a... Uh, a visit to Canada, which was long into the war. Uh, we've also got the idea about the, um, the, the the claim by Moscow for possession of Kiev, because that is part of Mother Russia. Well, again, why didn't uh, Putin do this when he first came to power, if he was so intent on the new Russia or the greater Russia? And then we've got this business of the Minsk agreement, and why would anybody not want that? Well, he did admit in the interview that the Minsk agreement was something Vladimir Zelensky was determined to challenge. And, uh, and then there was this idea that the peace accord was scuppered by Boris. So... 
Mr. Johnson attacked this allegation that the UK government and he personally persuaded the Ukrainians to fight on rather than surrender in the wake of the invasion in the spring of 2022. He says, nothing and no one could have stopped those lion-hearted Ukrainians from fighting for their country. Nothing will. And um, he said that he hoped that President P Trump, when he is elected, will confound his critics and give arms to the Ukrainians. And he urged the Republican politicians currently blocking uh, the Ukrainian aid, for God's sake, remember who you are. You're the heirs of Ronald Reagan, the leaders of the last best hope on earth. And um, the White House, meanwhile, of course, has said that people should be warned against believing anything that Putin says in the interview. Um, but I think it was important that that interview took place. It's given us a glimpse of Mr. Putin. It's um, at least established the possibility that he's not dead. And it's uh, shown us something of the brilliance of Putin's rhetoric and his mastery of this sort of engagement. And it, it, it is extraordinary because the quality of his voice, he doesn't do this with any form of um, volume. He's quite quietly spoken. But you know that at any moment he could be roused. It's like um, uh, it's like having Dobby in front of you, but knowing that Snape or Voldemort could quite quickly emerge from uh, that uh, benign exterior, uh, and, and 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 that's a little bit terrifying. Uh, he. Um, He doesn't like to be questioned, and there were there were a few moments in the in the interview where Tucker Carlson did actually try and question him, uh, uh, particularly about dates where he just went to pieces. He didn't know the dates. Now, when Biden did this in his interviews in court the other day, uh, the court simply concluded that he was an old man who had lost his memory. When Putin does it, it sort of gets overlooked, doesn't it? It gets overlooked. But I think there's another argument here, that when Carlson interrupted, he interrupted someone who was expected to go off script. He did not go off script. He remained on script. And what I would like to know, really, is whether Carlson's questions were given to Mr. Putin in advance, and if they were, it's a very, very well-rehearsed piece of um, performance art. And uh, whoever, whoever was delivering that was a spectacular actor. Spectacular. Um, was it Putin? I don't know. Do I care? Not really. I, I'm going to cling to my idea that Putin is in the fridge and uh, nestling up to a packet of um, Smedley HP frozen peas and it's so too much, too much, too much. I, I mean, what is it like, Mr. Putin, in the afterlife? Um, it's do you get a lot of do you get a lot out of sense do you get a lot of sense out of this man not really it's all repeated platitudes and propaganda but it is interesting to hear uh boris responding and fighting back against the um claims which are being made by mr putin and of course they were being made from the middle of last year they're not new <laughs>